This is Dan Weiss and David Benioff, executive producers and writers of Game of Thrones. I'm Charles Dance. They thought I would be a good narrator. Mostly because we're terrified of him. We don't want to call from Charles Dance in the middle of the night. Indeed. David and Dan have been friends for over 17 years. 18 years, I think. Since 1995. They share an office. Why not? Seven years ago, a package of books showed up at David's door. I thought, oh, there's no way in hell I'm going to read it. The shortest one is 800 pages, and the longest one's 1,100 pages. I said, what the hell is this? They loved the story. Got to the scene where Bran got tossed out that window. <laughs> Spoilers. I didn't see that coming at all. I was hooked. Why not make a TV show? It's a chance to tell a human story on an epic scale. Their goal was to stay faithful to the books, which, let's not forget, have giants, dire wolves, and dragons. Trying to figure out how to juggle all the different storylines. We knew that it made no sense as a feature. They had to sell the idea to George R. R. Martin. We wanted to take this to HBO. He said, I never imagined it anywhere else. And we had this great long, long lunch. At lunch, they received a test. And he said, so who do you think is Jon Snow's real mother? We threw out our guts, and he'd come that great poker face, and then slowly he smiled. And then we were in. So who was it? I can't tell. Come on. Whatever. Weiss and Benioff pitched the series to HBO. We were off to the races. Well, it took three years to get the pilot made, so I guess it wasn't really off to the races. Somehow they convinced HBO that two writers who've never done TV before, or movies before, or the internet, or really anything at all, knew what they were doing. I don't think we really spent any time at all dwelling on, like, what a crazy undertaking it would be. They received an edict from George's wife. Don't fuck it up. Mistakes were made. At an early screening of the pilot, they were told, You guys have a massive problem. Massive. There was a massive problem. Some of the things that were crucial for people to understand weren't clear to them. Season one started 93 minutes short. We had to come up with 93 minutes worth of scenes that could be shot incredibly cheaply. George Martin had said it was unfilmable, with sigils, new languages, and names that don't exactly roll off the tongue. Some might call Game of Thrones complex. So many characters. He just wanted to write something where he didn't have to kill his darlings. And then he started killing them anyway. And some might call it sexy. Gratuitous sex? Where? This is where Weiss and Benioff adapt the unadaptable. One of us will write the first half, and the other will write the second half. Pass drafts back and forth. Just keep passing them back and forth. I wonder if they ever get writer's block. There's no time. It takes a cast and crew of hundreds to bring this story to life. The show was shot in seven countries. Northern Ireland, Croatia, Morocco, Malta, Iceland, Scotland, and California for our wolves and our bear. And in spectacular locations. On any given day, you've got two of your directors shooting from two different episodes in two different countries. What could go wrong? Basically, the saying on set is, the, the worse the weather is, the better it's going to look on screen. Though sometimes they're enhanced by visual effects, which is how a boat and a parking lot can become this. One season of Game of Thrones includes 100 locations, 3,000 costumes, 4,000 props, 257 cast members, 703 crew members, 87,014 visual effects frames, and eight bottles of hot sauce. I just like hot sauce. We have been so lucky to have the cast that we have, some of the greatest actors. Some of those great actors' characters didn't make it. They killed off the lead in the first season. Probably spent two weeks arguing about how many frames we should show of the sword cutting into the neck. It's left some fans shell-shocked by the deaths of a few major characters. Two words. They dead. Like so dead. Like OMG dead. My mother and brother are dead. Work on Game of Thrones takes 52 weeks a year. 51 and a half. 52. A typical day includes... Editing the episodes, working with the VFX team, working with our composer, working with the sound team, and outlining the coming season. They have good chemistry and try to keep things light on the set. Script jokes fool actors into thinking that they've got certain scenes. They're not as gullible as they used to be. George comments after watching every episode. He's a pretty tough creator, yeah. Game of Thrones has become part of the cultural zeitgeist. The fan response has been overwhelming. I saw the artwork and so much of it blew us away. One piece of that's actually in my bedroom at home. They've dedicated their life to this show for the last seven years. Kind of pathetic how much time we spend together. Our wives give us a lot of shit about it. They say we're, we're married at this point. We love it and it's the best job in the world. A job that shows no sign of slowing down. The story grows with each episode and nobody except Mr. Martin, Mr. Benioff and Mr. Weiss knows where it will end.